Hello and welcome back to Bite Size Security. I'm your host Jimmy and I'm very happy to be back with another video. Today I'm not bringing you a hacking video but a video that you have been requesting a lot and I hope it will um, it will be a good one and I hope you'll be happy about it. But first, a little update for you guys. Um, a lot has happened in the last couple of months. Uh, some of you already know from the comments when I've been replying, but essentially um, I've moved countries, continents. Um, to give context, I became a pen tester, finally. Uh, I reached that goal, very excited about that. I uh, started a job with an offensive security company and that came with um, a lot of change, uh, relocation. And so, yeah, I just had to wait until my entire setup came and uh, until I was fully moved and settled down before I would be able to make videos again. Taught me a lot about patience, but uh, we are back. Uh, I'm not going to dwell too much on that topic. We are back with another video. And so today we are going to get into a tool that you've been requesting, Prep Note. So, if you've been watching my videos, you see me use this uh, script a lot that makes the entire setup for um, hacking uh, these vulnerable machines quite a bit faster. And uh, in the beginning, I didn't really want to share it. It was just like uh, my own personal tool, but I got asked a lot how to do it. And uh, so yeah, here it is. So essentially, uh, it's just a simple script written in shell in bash um, that makes the entire setup uh, with the execution of a simple binary and I'll just walk you through how it works so it will give you a couple of files uh, it will give you a template folder which I'll explain and then a setup binary and a just the main binary and then a template config which I will also explain but first let's just copy this and download the repo so we're going to do git clone and the link and then we're going to go inside of that and inside of here we will press setup.prepnotes okay and so here we will get prompted a lot. It's an interactive setup, so it will be quite easy, but um, essentially you'll just have to fill out a few things. And these will get saved into template.config, which will then be copied into config.txt, like it is uh, said here. If you want to skip this entire setup, you can just um, fill it out and name it config.txt, and it'll be much quicker. But anyway, I'll go through with the interactive setup. So uh, do I want to uh, continue? I press yes. And then it will ask me to set a path for my Obsidian Notes folder uh, for the vault. And this will be this vault. Uh, I often uh, work with Obsidian, as you guys all know, and I have this, these uh, folders here. and inside of there i take all of my notes okay and so this is asking you to create a vault like that so what you're going to do is take a full path and just call it whatever you want so i'm gonna call it showcase vault okay uh, it doesn't exist, so I'm going to create it, say yes. And now inside of this showcase vault, I'm going to create the template folder. And this is a folder where um, everything is going to be copied outside of this folder. Uh, so this will be the centerpiece of the vault in Obsidian. Um, I will explain this in a second, but essentially create this template folder within your vault. Let's first open the vault, okay? So we're going to open this new vault that we just created. Uh, workspace, what did I say? Showcase, showcase vault, select, and there we are. 
I will just show you really quickly how I change the appearance of that because you've been asking that as well. Put it into dark mode, manage, download Obsidian Nord, install and use, and then it will look exactly like it does for me. And so now you will have the vault open and we're going to give it its first folder, which will be um, showcase vault template. So we're going to paste showcase vault and then inside of that put template. That doesn't exist. So we're going to create it. Bam. And now here you will see it's already populated with template. Now we're going to set up uh, another folder, which is called working directory. And this is where uh, you work out of. This is where you execute auto recon. If you use it, this is where you gather uh, files from the machine where you work out of. Uh, so the vault is where you take your notes and this is where you work. So this is not going to be inside of the vault. This is going to be another folder next to the vault. So we can call this hacking. Let's just call it that for this video. That doesn't exist. So we're going to create it, but first we're going to copy that. And then all of the folders that come now are going to be created within hacking. So let's say you're working on an OSCP exam and you're going to do that outside of this folder. So you're going to just call that uh, OSCP exam doesn't exist let's create it then OSCP training these will be the challenge labs a B and C they look like the exam they feel like the exam so they're gonna have the kind of the same setup as the exam but they're not the exam so I have made it a bit different so OSCP training there you go doesn't exist let's create it then hack the box let's create a folder for hack the box call it HTB and always within the working directory it doesn't exist. Let's create it then proving grounds. Same thing as hack the box. Uh, let's just call it PG it doesn't exist. Let's create it. Then uh, if you have access to the cyber range and I know a lot of you don't, but I do. And so it's within my script because essentially the script was out of my setup, but I made it somewhat publishable for you guys but uh, the functionality is still there if you have access to the challenge labs then uh, you can use this folder so i will just call this one challenge um challenge oscp or just challenge labs there you go doesn't exist Let's create it. And then same thing. There's a whole set of AD challenge labs. Um, so I will just call this AD challenge labs. And so in case you're wondering, the cyber range is uh, part of an enterprise subscription to Offsec, which um, if you work in the industry, if your company has this, then you have access to the cyber range. I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, it doesn't exist. Let's create that folder. And then we're done basically. And you will have created all of these uh, paths and folders. And also your config.txt will have been populated. And if you see here, now you have config.txt and it has filled out all of these placeholders and so in case you want to change things change the working directory you want to work out of this is where you're going to do it but the script is not done it's asking you if you want to create a symbolic link of prep notes so that you can use it anywhere and also to copy config or text inside of that folder because these two files need to be close to each other because when you execute prep notes it needs config.txt in order to know where to save everything and so do i want to create a symbolic link for this video yes i do and so everything has been created and you can now run prep note from anywhere so let's do that prep note uh, dash dash help and just to show you that this works from anywhere and not from within the git folder uh, let's do it here prep note dash dash help there we go and that still works 
And so now uh, we want to go into hacking and you can see here it has created all of these folders. Uh, they're empty for now and it has created the vault and the vault is here and inside of the vault you have the templates and this template is where it's going to copy everything out of like I said um, so for now let's say we have an exam coming up in January so we're going to use the E flag and uh, no actually let's start with the normal challenge lab so we're going to do a challenge lab that's called I don't know blue for eternal blue um, I think that's a hack the box box but it doesn't doesn't matter let's just call it blue and you will see inside of here it will have created a challenge lab folder blue and it will copy from templates all of the files and you will be quickly able to uh, start hacking and inside of the working directory as well it will have uh, created blue and you will be able to execute auto recon within external and just do what you do you know if you follow the methodology that I use you will already know what this is about and get to business quickly and this is essentially it it, it makes the whole thing quite a bit easier let's say you are doing an exam in january call it exam this is quite fun i had a lot of fun developing this it took a little bit of tinkering but it works well now so we call we call january and we create a whole bunch of files and you might be able to see what i did here um, it will create another folder osp exam it will call it January and in here you will have the AD set which is in every OSCP exam you have the domain controller MSO1 MSO2 uh, domain enum this is where I'll run bloodhound if I do or uh, any type of just domain enumeration I will do inside of here and then you have the three challenge labs that it creates automatically um, so yeah this is quite fun it makes it a lot easier to set up for that. Uh, if you're doing um, the training um, A, B, or C, you can just do the T flag and then call it call it challenge. Um, what like challenge A? Let's say challenge A like this, and it will do kind of the same thing. It will create a subfolder called training challenge a and then in here you will have the different folders and so yeah it just makes everything quite easier and then inside of the working directory you can go inside of hacking uh, go inside of training and go inside of challenge a and then depending on what you're working with you can then execute auto recon from that file folder sorry and um uh, yeah this is basically it and this works for all of the various flags let's do one for hack the box so let's say you're doing a hack the box box and you are doing um pebbles i think that's one box h so this will then be copied inside of hack the box pebbles there we go and inside of the vault you will then also have pebbles here like this and same thing so now you guys have access to prep note and i hope that will satisfy the need <laughs> and uh yeah if you guys want to modify something you can of course you open you're free to use this and change it and modify it if you have any suggestions you can let me know um but yeah i hope this uh is useful to you guys and um, I'm happy to be back and I will see you guys in a next video where I will be hacking another vulnerable box again until then this has been your boy Jimmy and I'm out peace